I am Garrett Russell from Silent Planet, and you are watching Solace Music TV. What's up, guys? I'm here with Garrett from Silent Planet. How are you doing, man? Doing really well. So we're here on uh, Gideon's headlining tour in Toronto. Yes, sir. How's the tour been? It's been great. It's been really awesome. Um, the dudes in Gideon, Texas in July, and Kublai Khan are all sweethearts and uh, had a really good time. So this tour is your first time in Canada. How have you liked Canada so far, especially Toronto? It's cool. Um, yeah, I didn't really see Toronto because I woke up like a couple hours before our set. Um, but uh, we had a great time. Spent a lot of time in Quebec or in, um, in uh, Montreal. And uh, it's been cool. It's, uh, it's different. It's more different than the United States than I thought it would be, probably. Yeah. So your debut album, The Night God Slept. Yeah. I've noticed that you cover some really heavy topics on it. What made you want to cover such heavy topics? Like anywhere from like Hiroshima to sex trafficking in America, like yeah. those kinds of topics. Yeah, um, I think that uh, we are often in a kind of a bubble of privilege in, in the music world that we're in, and um, it's it's easy to, I guess, write about things that we see, you know, like breakups or, or, or you know, feeling sad or going through struggles in our world, but I guess I wanted to write something that had more of a, a, a world scope and, and told stories that are, uh, I think, underrepresented in our genre. Yeah, I really enjoy the lyrics you write. It's, it's you. a big change from like other like metalcore or whatever Thank lyrics so that people much. write. Thank you so much. No problem. So before you play, do you have any pre-show rituals? Uh, yeah, I, I warm up. I often drink coffee, so I'm able to um, defecate. Um, what's I, what's that? A poop. No, yeah. like uh, what do you, do you drink? What? Coffee. Oh, coffee. Coffee. Shit, I heard that wrong. Yeah, I drink coffee so that I can crap. Yeah. Um, that's, I guess, a ritual. And... Uh, I usually move around a good amount, and I pray and do warm-ups. Yeah, that's about that. What about when you guys have downtime, when you're not playing yeah. during the day, you already got to the venue, what are you guys doing to kill time? To kill time? Um, yeah, well, I guess the, the only times I feel like we really have off time is if we have an off day, and then I usually explore. Um, I decided in Montreal on like at like 1 a.m. to take the metro and get lost in the city. And I wandered around Montreal for a while, not knowing anything that was going on or not able to speak to people very well. That was really fun. So um, I like to wander uh, and kind of uh, take in new places, you know, just kind of get an idea of what it would be like to live there. Um, but yeah, we, we don't have a lot of off time, frankly, because, you know, like you play a show, then you drive, and then you yeah. sleep, so... But yeah, on off days, I just explore. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. It might be, it must be inspiring, just getting lost in a city like it's that great. for like even lyrics or anything, and like upcoming albums. Totally. Like, does that all the people and stuff? Dude, every everything is fair game for material. I think. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Cool. So, uh, moving on. Does in, did you or anyone else in the band have any other artistic outlets other than music that you guys enjoy doing? Um, yeah, a few guys, a few of the guys in the band, uh, like have solo stuff they work on and, uh, record other people. Um, I guess I write and I, I want to like publish stuff like novels and short stories and I'm kind of working on that, but I'm, I'm a bit self-conscious about it, I guess, uh, in a weird way. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think anyone's like a, doesn't, no, none of our guys really draw or anything per se, but yeah, I think all of our guys, except for me, are insanely musically talented, and so they, they, they do all sorts of other musical stuff in their spare time. Why do you think you're not musically talented? You're a front man of a band. You sing. You yeah, I, I, I holler. You know, I, I, don't really have, I don't really speak the language of music, I feel like. I, I, I think the, 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 I've focused a lot in my life on the English language, and I, I, I want to know that language really well. Um, but I'd say the language of music is pretty lost on me compared to my other guys, I'd say, who are very fluent in music. Yeah. Maybe you'll pick it up as time goes on yeah. in the band. One can only hope, right? Just absorb it by immersion. Yeah. What made you want to start uh, music? Like, what made you want to be in a band, be a frontman vocalist? Um, uh, plea for Purging, I think. Plea for Purging uh, and For Today, actually, early on, uh, both those bands and me without you i would say those three bands all really moved me in a way that made me want to 
uh, express uh, express that and, and especially plea for purging with like how fun it looks like they had on tour and just not really caring about being a new thing besides themselves. I just thought that was cool. Did you go to a lot of shows growing up? Um, you know, no, not not really at all. It was all very sporty for me growing up. I wasn't very connected to music, and, and I grew up in a tiny town that didn't have much of a music scene. I would sometimes go to my friends' shows, but it was a small town, and we didn't, we never got like actual like packages coming through. I watched a video earlier on today of the story where uh, you broke your leg yeah, from yeah. playing basketball. And that makes me wonder, like, if you're so into sports, like, was that, like, the change that made you, like, wanted to get into music and to, like, perform because, like, you couldn't really play sports anymore? That kind of opened my eyes to uh, the world of possibilities a little bit. That helped me sort of realize, like, hey, there's kids playing music and drawing things. And previously, I was just so focused on, like, competitive sports that I felt like I, I didn't really pay any attention to other things that people could aspire to is just sports you know I, I had a very narrow paradigm and, and that helped me to open up but I never really thought I would be involved in music and I really wasn't until I was 19 when I started Silent Planet yeah awesome so that's all the questions I have for today thank you so much Dude, thank for the you time. Uh, thank you so much thank you for uh, allowing us uh, to jam in your awesome country Y'all are great, really sweet, kind of funny accents. But then I sound like a stir a surfer dude from like California. I totally agree with that. I, I yeah, I don't I don't mean to sound like a surfer. This is just my voice. <laughs> and you guys have this like warm accent. It's great. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time. No problem. Appreciate it. Make sure you guys check out Silent Planet on the rest of well, the one day left of the Gideon yeah, tour. Tomorrow, yeah, Bloodfest. And they're playing Bloodfest and they're also going on tour with four today, so make sure you check them out there, pick out their album. And if you're Japanese and you somehow are understanding what we're saying, we're coming to your country. <laughs> Konnichiwa. <laughs>